Imagine a small songbird, no more than nine grams in weight, which is about the same as four dimes held in your hand, traveling across the United States during fall migration, encountering things like cityscapes of St. Louis and Chicago, confusing lights in the night, windmills, communication towers, which are an ever-growing presence across the landscape, and the Corn Belt, where there's little forest for miles. This forest is important for these birds to stop and be protected from predators and refuel for their long journey. They fly more than 2,000 miles from North America to their wintering grounds in Central and South America. Once they reach the Gulf Coast states, they must cross the Gulf of Mexico in one straight shot, flying more than 500 miles to the nearest landfall in the Yucatan Peninsula. From there, they continue southward till they find a suitable wintering habitat where they will spend six months in tropical forests. Although many birds make this journey, and some birds can make this as many as 16 times in their life, scientists know very little about the actual journey itself. However, it's very important to understand this as the obstacles and journey of migration are very important to the survival of populations. Golden winged warblers are one of these small songbirds that make this journey twice a year. This species has experienced steep population declines over the past 40 years, with its population size being reduced by 66% since the 1970s. It flies from its breeding ground in the Great Lakes states or the Appalachian Mountain region down to Central and South America, and understanding the path they take and the locations and habitats that are most important to their survival during this journey are of utmost importance for conservation of this species. Hi, my name is Anna Buckart and I'm a graduate student at the University of Maine. I study young forest birds and their habitats, and one of those birds is the golden wing warbler. In 2016, I went to Wisconsin to find breeding male golden wing warblers on their territories and captured them using mist netting techniques. Once captured, I took morphological measurements and deployed a geolocator, which is a tracking device that uses sunlight levels and day length to determine longitude and latitude of the location of the bird. This geolocator stays on the bird for a whole year, and in this coming summer, I will be returning to Wisconsin to remove the geolocator data loggers. And I need your help so I can live in Wisconsin this summer, close to my field sites, to be able to recover this important data. And we'd like you to join the journey. And as a donor, we will give you periodic updates of where these birds went and how our field work is going. We'd like you to be a part of this project and help us understand the migratory journey of the golden wing warbler. Thank you for your help.